Fishing seems to be such a great way to make a lot of gold in Season of Discovery, but also a decent way to prepare for Phase 2, as you can collect many different materials you can collect without fishing, at least as of right now. So today I will show you how you can quickly level up your fishing to max level and collect a lot of gold as you're leveling up to profession, but also what spots I use at max level to ensure I can collect these materials for Phase 2. The first thing you need to do is to head to a main city and train fishing, then speak to a fishing supplier where you can purchase your fishing pole. In some cases you might even be lucky enough to also be able to purchase the strong fishing pole, else you can purchase them on the auction house for next to nothing. Next up, you gotta make sure you also purchase items that will increase your fishing skill, so you have a higher chance of also successfully fishing and therefore increasing your skill. What I do next is to stay in the main city until I reach level 50 in fishing. This will save me a lot of time, and by the time I reach level 50, I can then speak to the trainer and learn the next skill. What I would highly recommend you to do next is to swap to Barons as a Horde player or Westfall as an Alliance player, because in those two zones you can collect a lot of gold as you level up the profession. But before you head there, make sure to stack up on Nightcrawlers and also Bright Bubbles. This allows you to increase your fishing skill and then you don't have to spend time going back to the main city when you reach level 100. Alright, so once you have made your way to either the Barons or Westfall, you have to look out for the different schools. In the schools, you can collect many different items that sell for a high amount on the auction house. For example, fish, strangle kelp, but also a chest that contains materials for other professions. There's a high chance you will get these chests, or world trunks as they're called, when you fish in these floating debris. But in lower level areas, the trunks you can get doesn't really matter that much, as the materials you get in the trunks doesn't sell for that much on the auction house. But nonetheless, it's still a decent way for you to level a profession and get some gold as you level up. If you're not currently max level on your character, then it's also a great way for you to get some green items and potions to increase your leveling speed. For those of you wondering how long I fish in Westfall, then I do this up to 120. This is also the same case in the Barrens, where fish close to Ratchet, but you could also do it in the middle of Barrens, either here or here close to Wailing Cairns. I feel like the Barrens is probably my most favorite zone, as there's a lot of fishing schools, but also floating debris close to each other. It's a small fishing area, so you don't have to spend a lot of time running in between the different things, and this also allows you to level up your fishing in next to no time. Just make sure to get it to 120 before you swap to the next zone, which is Alteric Mountains. Else the fish will have a high chance of getting away, and then you won't be able to get the new ship wreckage, or well, the new trunks. These contain so many materials that can be sold on the auction house for a high amount. So if you end up failing too much, you're also gonna end up losing a lot of gold. Why I recommend this area up to 140 is because most of the enemies here won't be attacking you, so it's an easy way to skill up your fishing, and then by the time you get to 140, you could swap to another zone, Stranglethorn Whale. But before you go to Stranglethorn Whale, then make sure to check out the auction house for the big iron fishing pool. If you have enough gold, then I would highly recommend you to get this, and also post all the different fish and things you have collected so far. By selling these things, you should also be able to purchase the big iron fishing pole. Another thing you should also do is to purchase the Acrodynamic Fish Attractor. This increases your fishing skill by 100 for 5 minutes. So useful when you have to collect higher level trunks, for example methyl trunks in the southern part of Stranglethorn Whale. But first we're gonna start in the northern part, where we collect iron bound trunks. There are so many different things you can fish here, and I feel like it's way better compared to Alteric Mountains. Of course there's gonna be enemies that will be attacking you, but most of the schools and wreckage can be collected without even pulling these. By the time you've got to the middle of Stranglethorn Whale, you'll most likely also be 150 and ready to start fishing in the southern part. If you're still not 150 at this point, then I highly recommend you not to head south. Instead, you should head north to max out your fishing, else you're gonna end up failing way too much at the southern part of Stranglethorn Whale. Anyway, when you have made your way to the southern part, then make sure to always attach an aquadynamic fish attractor. Why I recommend you to do this is because it will also reduce your chance of failing by a high amount, and in the end it's gonna be worth it when you for example get a trunk with many materials. Alright, so at this point you're also max level in fishing in phase 1, and what you could do would be to continue farming in Stranglethorn Whale. At least this is what I usually do, but you could also swap to two other zones. 
The first one being Tenarius. There is a big downside to the zone. It's a bit higher level compared to Stranglethorn Whale, and therefore there is also a higher chance that you will end up failing. Honestly, I feel like 50% of the times I end up failing, and that's why I don't really recommend this zone that much. And yeah, I've tested with the big iron fishing pole, and even an enchant that also increases my fishing skill. I still seems to fail way too often, and that's why I would highly recommend you Stranglethorn Whale, Eltric Mountains, or maybe even Desolus. In Desolus, you don't get the Mithril bound trunks. These are still iron bound trunks, but then again, the materials can easily be sold on the auction house, and most of these will be so useful in phase 2 when you need to speed level your profession. The benefit of being at the southern part of this list is that you can also collect the big iron fishing pole here. Not from when you are actually fishing, but in the ocean you gotta dive down and find the different cages. In these cages you can get the big iron fishing pole, but you also gotta be aware that they are most likely protected by enemies. These enemies will once in a while also swim away and give you a window where you can open up the cage. There is even a chance that enemies will also spawn when you open up these. The chance of getting the big iron fishing pole isn't that high, and that's why I usually just purchase it on the auction house. But then again, you could be fishing in the area and then once in a while just check for these cages. One big tip before you go here, make sure to bring some elixir of water breathing, else you will end up spending way too much time having to pay attention to your breath. Earlier in the video I mentioned that there is a high chance of failing in Tenaris, and this is also the same case if you decide to try to fish in Feralis. But when there's a high chance of failing, it also means that there isn't too much competition because people don't really want to go here. And that could be a big benefit, just in case you're lucky and you actually succeed on fishing. Next up is a couple of tips and tricks. In the different main cities, but also in the open world, there's a chance that you can purchase the Aquadynamic Fist Attractor for next to nothing at the vendors. For example, right here in Booty Bay. Here's a time saver. When you have a fishing attachment, and also a fishing pole, then you drag these down to your action bar. And the next time you need to attach it, you simply just press on the ability, and then on your fishing pole. This can be seen right here, where I quickly attach it in next to no time. As an alliance player, look out for any mages in Stranglethorn Whale. There's a high chance that this could potentially be a bot on their way to dead mines. This allows you to farm gold with your fishing and also a bit of honor so you can rank up before phase 2. And if you find it difficult to see the different schools when it's raining, then simply just go to your graphic settings and right here reduce it to as low as possible. This allows you to see way less rain and now it's also a lot easier for you to track the schools. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more guides in the future, for example how you can prepare for phase 2 or other ways to make a lot of gold, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Peace!